Get ready to uncover a secret that could radically transform your life. The words you say daily have unimaginable power. They can build empires or destroy dreams. Maybe you've never thought about it, but both the Bible and science agree. Your words have a profound and lasting impact. I'll reveal how small changes in your speech can bring incredible and immediate rewards. Are you ready to grasp the true power of words and change your destiny? The impact of words goes beyond mere sounds, articulated by the airflow passing through our larynx and modulated by the mouth. They hold a true and significant power, a truth evidenced when God called the universe into existence through his speech, as described in Hebrews 11.3. In this passage, we learn that the worlds were framed by the divine word, so that what we see did not come from the apparent. Created in the likeness of God, our speech also holds influence, shaping the reality around us. It is vital, however, to recognize that while we do not possess the supernatural ability to create realities as the Creator does, human words still exert a considerable impact on our surroundings. They surpass mere transmission of information, touching emotions, shaping thoughts, and directing actions. The force of our expressions can be tremendous, capable of lifting someone's spirits or devastating them. Consider the destructive effect that harsh or careless words can have. Hostile remarks can incite hatred and violence, exacerbate existing hurts, and inflict new wounds. A single cutting comment has the power to deeply hurt, highlighting the responsibility we carry in choosing our words. Words can leave deep scars in someone's heart, leading to feelings of worthlessness or intense emotional pain. They have the power to spread lies, create misunderstandings, and foster divisions among people, breaking bonds between friends, family, and even entire communities. On the other hand, words also have the ability to heal, encourage, and bring joy. A kind word at the right moment can lift someone's spirits, offering comfort and hope in times of distress. Encouraging words can inspire individuals to overcome challenges and achieve their goals. Expressions of love and affirmation can build strong, positive relationships, creating a sense of belonging and acceptance. There are two extremes on the spectrum of beliefs about the power of words. On one side, there are Christians who believe they can materialize things merely by speaking them, following the theology of name it and claim it, or decree and declare. Some of these Christians adhere to the so-called little God's theology, which is incorrect. God is unique, and we have never been, are not, and will never be gods. On the other extreme, there are Christians who believe that words carry no weight at all. Regardless of the perspective, it is undeniable that our words carry significant power they can build or destroy, unite or separate, heal or hurt. Therefore, it is essential that we use this tool with wisdom and compassion, aware of the lasting impact our words can have on others. This perspective is as unbiblical as the theology of little gods. Both extremes fail to capture the biblical understanding of the power of words. I would like to offer a biblical explanation of the importance of words, emphasizing that our words have weight in the eyes of the Lord and according to Scripture. The biblical proverb, death and life are in the power of the tongue, perfectly illustrates the dual nature of our speech. Our words can be instruments of life, promoting peace, understanding and kindness, or they can be tools of destruction, spreading discord, hatred and pain. The words you utter are of utmost importance. Do not be deceived by doctrines that attempt to minimize the power of your words. For as it is written, by your words you will be justified, and by your words you will be condemned. This principle is repeatedly emphasized in the Word of God, highlighting the significant impact of our speech. Are you careful and reflective about the words you use, or do you speak impulsively without thinking? As Proverbs 18.21 reminds us, death and life are in the power of the tongue, and those who love it will eat its fruit. 
Therefore, it is essential that we recognize and respect the strength of our words, using them with wisdom and love, aware that they have the power to build or destroy, to heal or hurt. May our words always be a source of light and life to those who hear us. The Bible warns us that we will be held accountable for our words. In Matthew 12, 33, 37, we read, Either make the tree good and its fruit good, or make the tree bad and its fruit bad, for the tree is known by its fruit. You brood of vipers, how can you speak good when you are evil? For out of the abundance of the heart the mouth speaks. The good person out of his good treasure brings forth good, and the evil person out of his evil treasure brings forth evil. I tell you, on the day of judgment, people will give account for every careless word they speak, for by your words you will be justified, and by your words you will be condemned. In this passage, Jesus speaks to a group of Pharisees who were accusing him of casting out demons by the power of Beelzebul, the prince of demons. Matthew 12, 24. Essentially, these Pharisees were accusing Jesus of being possessed by demons. It is crucial to note Jesus' warning to them, a warning that also applies to us. Jesus warns the Pharisees about the coming judgment, a reality we often forget. There will be a day of judgment. This teaching of Jesus underscores the importance of our words. They are not just sounds or mere communication tools. They carry significant weight and will be taken into account in the final judgment. How we use our words reveals the contents of our hearts. Kind and uplifting words reflect a heart full of kindness, while hurtful and destructive words reveal a tainted heart. Therefore, it is essential that we are conscious and responsible with what we say. May our words always be used to build up, encourage and bring light into the lives of those around us. For as Jesus teaches us, we will be judged and justified by them. May this teaching lead us to reflect and constantly seek a pure heart from which words of life and peace flow. The day of judgment is approaching for all of us. I mention this not to instill fear or anxiety, but to encourage you to prepare. We must live our lives with the awareness that one day we will stand before an almighty God, giving an account of how we lived. The day of judgment is real and is coming. Each of us will have to stand before the Lord, giving an account of our lives, decisions, actions and words. This is a serious reality that should instill in us a healthy fear of God. He is not a figure like Santa Claus or a gentle and benevolent grandfather. God is a consuming fire, a being of immense power and holiness. In our natural state, encountering him would be overwhelming and even destructive. We should fear him with reverence and awe. Let this fear of God grow in your life, guiding you to live with righteousness and purpose. Remember that the day of judgment is approaching and we must all be ready to stand before the Lord and give an account of our lives. In Luke 12, 4, 5, Jesus says, I tell you, my friends, do not fear those who kill the body, and after that have nothing more that they can do. But I will warn you whom to fear. Fear him who, after he has killed, has authority to cast into hell. Yes, I tell you, fear him. Therefore, let us live with the awareness of this truth, allowing the fear of the Lord to guide us to a life of righteousness, integrity, and purpose. Let us be prepared for that great day, living in a way that honors God in all our actions and words. Fear him who, after killing, has the power to cast into hell. Yes, I say to you, fear God. The day of judgment is real for all of us and is approaching. Jesus warned the Pharisees about this, and we should pay attention to this warning too. The day of judgment is coming. Do not live your life carelessly. Never forget that a day of judgment is coming. In Matthew 12, Jesus also warns that on that day, we will have to give account for every idle word we speak. This indicates that there is a record of everything we say. Somewhere in heaven, there is a book containing every word we have uttered, whether in moments of anger or frustration. It may be difficult to understand how God records our words, whether through some unknown celestial technology to us or by a recording angel, but it is clear that every word is noted. Consider the implications of this. 
Are you comfortable knowing that on the day of judgment, your words will be reviewed? What have you been saying to the people around you? What have you been saying to your friends and family, your spouse or your children? Choose your words wisely, knowing that they carry weight and will be accounted for. May this awareness lead us to reflect on our words and use our speech to build up, encourage and convey love. Let us live in a way that our words are a source of light and life, always remembering that one day we will stand before the Lord to give an account of everything we have said. In Proverbs 18.21, we read that death and life are in the power of the tongue, and those who love it will eat its fruit. Our words have the power to build up or destroy relationships. A single phrase can plant a seed of doubt that compromises the foundation of any bond. Imagine a couple having a heated argument when one spouse, in a moment of anger, hurls a devastating accusation. Even if the accusation is unfounded and later disproven, the damage is already done. The planted doubt can corrode trust and cause deep and lasting harm. This example illustrates how poorly chosen words can destroy a relationship. In a marriage, for example, a phrase said in a moment of anger can create a deep emotional scar. Even after the conflict is resolved, the spoken words can continue to echo, causing pain and mistrust. Let's imagine a situation. A man, in a moment of frustration, says something cruel to his wife. She not only remembers the words, but also the context in which they were spoken, even years later. Every cruel word is etched in memory, negatively impacting the relationship. This shows how crucial it is to think before speaking, especially in intimate interactions. Therefore, it is essential that we are careful and mindful of what we say. Words have a powerful and lasting impact. They can be used to nurture and strengthen our relationships or can cause irreversible damage. May we choose our words wisely, always promoting love, understanding and peace. You and I will have to give account for our words, so why do we live as if they have no power? They can shatter a child's dreams before they even try. Lying, bearing false witness and spreading gossip, all these sins rely on words. Words have the power to deeply hurt and also to uplift. To worship God, we use words. To praise God, we use words. The power of words is immense and often underestimated. In the narrative of creation, God did not create the world with his thoughts or hands. Instead, we repeatedly see the phrase in the book of Genesis, God said. With these words, God brought the world into existence. This demonstrates the immense power of words. In courts, when people testify under oath and lawyers argue for the futures of individuals, what do they use? They use words. In states with the death penalty, life and death can be decided by words. The power of words is profound and not fully appreciated. I believe there is a spiritual element to the power of words that we, as human beings, do not fully comprehend. Words can shape realities, influence decisions, and alter the course of lives. We should recognize and respect this power. Therefore, may our words always be used wisely, promoting truth, love, and justice. May we be aware that every spoken word has an impact, whether positive or negative, and may we be responsible for what we say. The power of our words is undeniable and should be used with wisdom and consideration. Even the world recognizes this power, often speaking of positive affirmations. There is a reason why God declares that by our words we will be justified, and by our words we will be condemned. Words reveal the condition of a person's heart. In Luke 6.45, we read that the good person out of the good treasure of his heart produces good, and the evil person out of his evil treasure produces evil, for out of the abundance of the heart his mouth speaks. There is no better judge of a person's heart than the words they allow to come out of their mouth. The Bible is clear in emphasizing that our words matter. We are repeatedly instructed on how we should use this gift of speech that has been given to us. In Ephesians 4.29, it is said, 
Let no corrupting talk come out of your mouths, but only such as is good for building up, as fits the occasion, that it may give grace to those who hear. This should be the life aspiration of every Christian. The world also recognizes the power of words through the concept of positive affirmations, showing that the impact of what we say is widely recognized. If even the secular world perceives the influence of words, how much more should we, as followers of Christ, be careful with what we say? Therefore, it is essential that we use our words to build up, encourage and convey grace to others. May our words be a reflection of God's love and an instrument of peace and justice. In doing so, we not only fulfill the divine commandment, but also contribute to a more harmonious and compassionate world. We should be able to speak good words to people, exalting one another with positive words and not tearing each other down. In Psalm 71, 8, it is written, Let my mouth be filled with your praise and with your glory all the day. In Ephesians 5, 4, Paul instructs us, Let there be no filthiness, nor foolish talk, nor crude joking, which are out of place, but instead, let there be thanksgiving. Furthermore, in Ephesians 5, 18, 20, he continues, And do not get drunk with wine, for that is debauchery, but be filled with the Spirit, addressing one another in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, singing and making melody to the Lord with your heart, giving thanks always and for everything to God the Father in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Our words have great importance and impact. Do not listen to those who say that words don't matter. They may not be important to some, but to God, your words carry immense weight. They have the power to build up, encourage and glorify God, as well as to hurt, destroy and cause division. May we always choose words that build up and honor God, speaking with wisdom and love so that we may be light and salt in this world. Our words should be a reflection of God's love and an instrument of peace and justice. Let us make our mouths sources of praise, gratitude and blessing, always remembering that our words have a power beyond what we can imagine. I hope that upon reflecting on the power of words, you have realized the importance of every phrase we utter. Always remember, your words have the power to build or destroy, to bring life or death, to promote peace or discord. May our mouths always be filled with praise, gratitude and edifying words, as the Bible teaches us. Imagine what a world would be like where everyone chose their words with wisdom and love, where every conversation was an opportunity to uplift and encourage. That's the invitation I leave with you today. Use your words to spread kindness, to inspire and to build a better world around us. And if this message has touched you, don't stop here. There is much more to discover and learn. Like this video, share your reflections in the comments and share it with your friends and family. Together, we can create a chain of positive and transformative words. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more content that will inspire, motivate and transform your life. By subscribing, you'll stay updated on all the latest news and become part of a community that values the power of words. Join us on this journey of growth and edification. Your next steps begin here. Click the follow button and welcome to our community.